Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Skyrise sells out Skyrise 1 first edition in six months. New Lycoming AD to affect 16,000 customers. Half-ton cocaine haul found on Bolivian Plain near Rosario. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Skyrise sells out Skyrise 1 first edition in six months. Skyrise reservations for its Skyrise 1 first edition helicopters have sold out in just six months. Early adopters received an exclusive introductory base price of $1.8 million, but reservations are still being accepted with current pricing based on placement on the reservation list. Enthusiasm is high and interested parties are encouraged to act as quickly as possible to get on the reservation list. Jerry Meyer, chief marketing officer at Skyrise, said, quote, We are thrilled to see such remarkable interest in the Skyrise 1 first edition. Our goal is to open up access to aviation by making it simpler and safer to pilot any aircraft. The market response that we've received for Skyrise 1 demonstrates the demand for this technology, and we will continue to keep the reservation program open for those who want to join the Skyrise family, end quote. Skyrise 1 is the world's first production helicopter to feature just one control stick and two touchscreens and represents a significant advancement in pilot control and safety. Its advanced design offers an efficient and intuitive pilot experience, with Skyrise's proprietary SkyOS operating system for simplicity of control, operational safety, and pilot confidence. After the break, Hartzell expands services and introduces Prop Exchange Program. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Hartzell expands services and introduces Prop Exchange Program. Hartzell Propeller recently announced several new investments in its service offerings that aim to improve and simplify customer experience. These include a new Propeller Exchange Program, an expanded service facility network, and updates to its website. The Hartzell Propeller Exchange Program allows customers to limit downtime on their aircraft without breaking the bank. The manufacturer uses its inventory of new and overhauled parts to assemble a propeller and ship it directly to a customer. Then the client ships or gets their old prop picked up and taken back to Hartzell. Japan grounds V-22 Osprey fleet after exercise incident. The Japanese military has grounded its fleet of V-22 Osprey VTOL aircraft after a takeoff mishap. The aircraft was participating in a joint exercise with the U.S. and carrying 16 service members. The V-22 was on Yunaguni Island for Keen Sword. According to Japan's ground self-defense forces, the Osprey had just lifted off when it became unstable and began to tilt. The, quote, left wing, the lower part of the aircraft, came into contact with the ground, and part of the aircraft was damaged, so the flight was aborted, end quote. Airbus inks contract with RCAF for H-135 helicopters. Airbus Helicopters announced it has a contract with joint venture partners Skyline and KF Aerospace for an order of 19 Airbus H-135 helicopters intended to train the next generation of Royal Canadian Air Force pilots. The contract is an element of the Canadian Future Aircrew Training Program and is the first time that Airbus helicopters will be flown by the Canadian Armed Forces. B-29 Dock History Restored Tour lands in Lawton. 
The B-29 Dock History Restored Tour will be making a visit to the Lawton Fort Sill Regional Airport in Oklahoma from November 15th through 17th for a weekend stop. B-29 Super Fortress Dock will arrive Thursday, November 14th and will be available for ground tours beginning November 15th. Similar to the other 25 stops in the historic aircraft's tour this year, visitors will be able to climb up into the aircraft to tour the interior, crew compartments, and cockpit, as well as book flight experience rides on Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. New Lycoming AD to affect 16,000 customers. The FAA has issued a new AD affecting Lycoming engine models with specific connecting rod assemblies. This was prompted by a series of reports of conrod failures that caused uncontained engine breakdowns and in-flight shutdowns. The directive mandates routine oil inspections to identify bronze metal particles, a potential indicator of connecting rod degradation. If any particles are detected, mechanics must perform additional checks on connecting rod bushings for signs of damage, misfit, movement, or excessive wear. Replacing compromised bushings with approved parts is required. Around 16,000 engines on U.S. aircraft, including popular IO360 and O320 models, fall under this directive. Inspections and potential bushing replacements are projected to incur significant costs, with estimates placing oil inspection expenses at approximately $235 per engine, connecting rod bushing inspections at $85, and bushing replacements at around $762 each. For U.S. operators, the AD could result in roughly $3.76 million for oil inspections, $1.36 million for bushing inspections, and around $12.19 million for parts replacement. The manufacturer's analysis concluded that certain connecting rod bushings installed between 2009 and 2017 were manufactured below specification, specifically in terms of outer diameter. This substandard sizing leads to reduced retention in the connecting rod, allowing the bushing to shift within the rod assembly and suffer wear from piston forces. This misfit accelerates parts failure. After these messages, Half-ton cocaine haul found on Bolivian plane near Rosario. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Half-ton cocaine haul found on Bolivian plane near Rosario. Nearly half a ton of cocaine was discovered aboard a Bolivian registered aircraft that landed in Argentina near Rosario. The National Gendarmerie tracked the aircraft a Cessna 206 using radar from Santa Fe's northern region. The plane landed in a rural area near the towns of Luis Palacios and Andino in the San Lorenzo department, where it was abandoned with 480 kilograms, over 1,000 pounds, of cocaine on board. Authorities suspected the flight was organized by a Rosario-based drug trafficking ring, whose leaders have evaded arrest since the high-profile White Harvest operation in 2022. Hours later, the alleged pilot of the plane was arrested by Pueblo Andino police officers. A bystander had alerted them about a suspicious man wandering by the Carcarana River. The Argentine Air Force detected the plane through a radar system stationed in Tosado, northern Santa Fe, and sent interceptor aircraft to force its landing. The gendarmerie located the plane shortly afterward, though the crew had already fled the scene. However, they later apprehended a Bolivian pilot identified as Oscar Caba near Pueblo Andino. This latest seizure is part of an ongoing investigation by federal authorities into Rosario's drug trafficking networks, which are believed to coordinate drug flights from Bolivia to Argentina. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.